you know, I think there's not two or three kids are killing themselves every day here in Victoria. Oh, um, really? The mental health crisis is out of control. Yeah. It's really bad. It's really bad. Really oh. bad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And uh, I, it's, it's I, frightening. I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. And anyone who thinks that we're conspiracy theorists, that this is the truth. This is really what's happening here in yeah. Melbourne, Victoria, right now. We are prisoners in our own home. We have no where we can't travel anywhere. We can't go on a holiday. We can't really can't leave five kilometres from our own home. I just well, I know you've had your election last week, but you just can't let these people rule and control your life like they are here in Melbourne. You have a voice. You have. You know, you need to stand up and be heard. And, and if you, you know, if you think something's wrong, you need to speak up. Melbourne was the, you know, we were one of the culinary capitals of the world. We were the sporting capital of the world. We have a great art scene. We have a great live music scene. Um, all of that has been absolutely decimated. So our tourism sector has been smashed um, and all because of inept government. It's just to all Norwegians, just stand up for what you believe in. Don't let the governments control you. You know, we've elected the government officials they need to work with us and they do not need to control us. And that's what's happening here in Australia at the moment. So don't let that happen over there. Make sure you stand up for what you believe in. You know, I think they're going to find that the world's turning against them. We're all, we're all starting to stand up and, and rise against socialism, against communism and against poor government and poor governance.